hello everyone welcome back to withdraw tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix war heaven is crashing at startup it is not launching or won't launch stuttering freezing lagging low fps drop black screen stuck on loading screen and many more issue which is happening for many of users right now and how we can fix this up so let's dive into the workaround the first one is all about when you're having this trouble we need to do a simple restart on your system just go over here in the start click on this particular icon go for a simple restart after restart is done try launch the game and that will be working fine so this can be done and this did work it for many users you can try this out it's just a very basic step you can try this out if that is not working we can move to the next one that is all about we need to launch the game from the installation folder so it is very important in order to launch the game from the installation folder because uh, when you launch the game from the Steam, that is why we are having the crashing issue sometimes. So we need to launch it from the Steam. So just go over here in the game, right click and we have to go to the properties, go to the installed file and just click on the browse. So now go back over here, you can see that is this PC, new volume D, Steam library, Steam apps, common, Warhaven. So just launch the game from here. We need to launch the game so uh, that will be working fine because launching the game from here will be working fine and that is what we have to do so launch the game from the installation folder not from the steam will be working if that is not the case we have to move to the next one that is all about we have to run the game as an administrator so hence here in the here we are in the middle of uh, i mean in the installation folder we can run this up so just right click over here and go to the show more option properties and go to the compatibility and click on run this program as an administrator and go for apply and go for ok and try launch the game this is what we have to do so once you run the game as an administrator if it's still it's not working we need to move to the next one that is all about we need to run the game in the compatibility mode so just go over here right click and we have to go to show more option properties compatibility and click on run this program in the compatibility mode we have to set this up to windows 7 go for apply and go for ok we have to set this to windows 8 go for apply and go for ok as well so once you set this up just close this we just need to go back and we just need to try launching the game next one is all about we need to launch the game and we have to press alt and tab from the keyboard this did work it for many uses you have to do the same so just launch the game and press alt and tab from the keyboard and that will be working fine as well next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to set the date time and region correct so just go over here in the search we have to go over here in the settings now from here go to time and language now go over here in the date and time so uh, make sure the time and time zone should be correct this has to be correct which is very important go back go back to the language and region now from here you have to select the region according to geography you have to select the country on which you are just select the respective country close this and go back try this one so next step is all about we need to try what the next one is all about we need to do is we just need to uh, delete uh, the saved game file that is what we have to do so in order to delete the saved game file so just go over here in the file explorer go to this pc go to the uh, documents over here and over here you will be able to find the game even if it's not able to find just go to the my games folder and you'll you'll be able to find the game when you started playing the game and saving the games in each progression you'll be able to find it so just, just delete the folder keep in mind you will be losing all the progressions of the game so just delete it and once afterwards just close this and we have to go back try launch the game next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to allow the game to window security for this reason we have to go over here in the search go for control panel now go for system and security go for windows defender firewall go for allow napor feature through windows defender firewall keep scrolling down and navigate to war heaven so hence it is an alphabet we can scroll down and navigate to w keep scrolling down so over here you will be able to find the war heaven so uh, this is the war heaven make sure the private and public should be checked and uh, once this is checked try launch the game imagine the game is not here and we can add it by default so just go for the change settings go for allow another app go for browse now go to this pc go to local disk uh, d go to steam library go to steam amps go to common scroll down and navigate to war heaven over here select this one and go for open and go for add it so once you add it what we need to do is make sure the both the private and public is cross-checked so just close this go back try launch the game next step 
we can try out is all about we need to close all the overlay application which is one of the main reason why we are having the crashing issue so whenever you are launching the game at the same moment there are a lot of things running in the background so just go over here in the game right click and we have to go over here in the task manager now over here if you check you can see there are a lot of things running in the background there are 55 apps running in the background so when you launch the game along with this the game is launching that is why we are having the crashing issue so just remove the unwanted things we have to remove the unwanted things from here which is very important so remove the unwanted things for example discord and uh, river tuner msi afterburner etc we need to remove it so remove it afterwards from here once you remove this try launching the game that is what we have to do this did work it for many uses you can try this out as well next one we can try out the next step is all about we need to unplug all the usb devices so whenever you are trying to play the game you might be already connected with a joystick controllers might be already connected for any other racing games you might be connected with the logitech wheels which i very very often use over here so just remove everything and once you remove everything launch the game after the game is successfully launched just connect it back once the game successfully launched and you are into the game successfully just connect back and you can continue even with the controllers no issue will be there but if you it's already there some users end up in having this trouble so you can try this out next one is we need to perform a clean boot so just go over here in the search go for uh, system configuration now go for services go for disable all go for hide all microsoft services go for apply and go for okay they're going to ask you for restart the users who are watching this you can go for restart but i'm going to go for exit without restart because we're in the middle of sharing so just launch this and afterwards see whether the issue is solved or not next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to disable the steam overlay so just go over here in the game right click go to the properties make sure this is turned off and once you turn this off try launching the game if that is not working we have to move to the next one next one is we have to give the commands in the launch option the first command in the launch option is dx11 give the command in the dx11 and try launching the game if dx11 is not working try this to dx12 and try launching the game as well either dx11 or dx12 will be working fine next one is what we need to do is we just need to uh, do this nothing but we need to run the game on dedicated graphics card so just go over here in the search go for graphics settings and from here we just need to keep scrolling down and navigate you will be able to see the game so just click on the browse now from here go to this pc go to local disk d go to steam library go to steam apps go to common now from here what we need to do is we just need to navigate to the game war heaven select this one select this application and go for add so right now the game is added if you scroll down you'll be able to see just click on the option and by default this is let windows decide change this to high performance and go for save once you save this close this go back try launching the game next one we need to increase the virtual memory so just go over here in the search as well go for view advanced system setting go to the advanced tab settings once again advanced once again go for change make sure uh, the uh, paging file this should be blank and you have to select the local disk so select the local disk where the game is installed and in my case it is d go for custom size set the initial size value that is 1.5 times the total ram and the maximum size value three times the total ram so just go over here in the search we need a calculator so we just need to type the ram so i'm going to type the ram so that that is my ram is 32 gb just type your ram and multiply with 1024 that is a constant value that will bring you to this and multiply it with 1.5 that is 14 and 152 so just copy this value paste it over here next one that is maximum size 32 gb multiplied with 1024 and we have to multiply into 3 that is 98 304 and we have to copy this and we have to paste it set everything okay close this try launch the game even if it's still it's not working try out these following steps that we need to update the graphics card so i'll be providing a link in the description to both nvidia and the amd the NVIDIA users have to go over here, select everything like your product type, product series, product operating system, etc. So I'm on Windows 11, I have to select the Windows 11 and go for start search. And from here, if you scroll down, you'll be able to see that is the driver version is 537.34, which is released on September 12, 2023. So we just need to download this, install, restart is a mandatory and try launching the game. If you're on the AMD, just go over here, select every details over here. Now from here go for submit and from here if you're on windows 11 64 bit edition download this one if you're on windows 10 we can download this one install restart is mandatory and try launch the game 
If you don't, you can also try installing the Microsoft Visual C++, so just go over here in this link. If the system is based on x64, download this one. If the system is based on x86, you can download this one. Install and restart is a mandatory and try launching the game. Next one, what we need to do is the last one, we need to uninstall and reinstall the game. It did work it for many users, so you can try this out. Just go over here, manage, uninstall the game. Keep in mind when you're reinstalling it back from the D, which I'm already installed, you have to try either on C or E, not on the same D. You can also try verify integrity of game file, which is a very important step. So just go over here in the game, right click and go to the properties, go to the installed file and just click on the verify integrity of game file. So this will cross check every single files of a game. And if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing, all these kind of issues will be fixed by this. So we, not, we just need to wait this to reach 100%. So let me wait. Once it reaches 100%, you'll be having the play button over here. So let us wait this to reach 100%. So once the files are validated, it is all good to go. Close this and launch the game and that will be working. So these possible workarounds can be done. I hope this video is helpful. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.